Ducks here and welcome back, back, back to my channel. All my new subscribers, welcome. I upload every Wednesday and every Sunday. So I make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure that you tell a friend to tell a friend to follow Imani Looks. Tasha girl, I see you. Just subscribe. Stephanie, Brittany, Jade, you watching? All y'all, just subscribe right now. I'm back with a new video on this hair that I got from Asali Hair. Um, it is 250 density, 30 inch uh, Brazilian Jerry Curl. Now, when you get curly hair, um, don't expect it to be how it would be with body wave hair. This is a Jerry Curl. Um, it is a tighter curl, so it is a little bit shorter. I'm just gonna show you all what it looks like. A 30 inch, it comes like right at my waist, but if I stretch it, it is at my hips now when it's wet it's also at my hips so what i have been trying to do is to find a method on um how to wet my hair or give it that wet look um which will kind of weigh it down my hair looks like i did not wet it because it's time for bed so and i'm gonna go to sleep with wet hair and i'm just going to probably break this up or put up in a pineapple if you want to see how i achieve this look keep watching i use a whole lot of new products in here right, so let's just hop right into this video all right guys so my hair finally arrived and this is what it's looking like 30 inch jerry curl hair from Asali hair 250 density now this hair was super thick it came with a wig cap uh it also came with some lashes which i did not use but they they cute whatever um the wig okay let's hop into the wig <laughs> yeah i don't know it's mad early in the morning i'm dumb tired but yeah so um i did appreciate that they gave me a full 13 by 4 inch lace um uh, because you know these aliexpress companies i don't know what's been going on but they have been skimping the heck out of people on these laces and i don't like that so boom this is the hair on a mannequin head and i did wash it and condition it with some aussie hair uh hair curl stuff i don't know i'm gonna link it down below but it's like the aussie shampoo and conditioner um i did bleach these knots i used 30 volume developer some kaleidoscope bleach and i placed that on my knots for 15 minutes and then i used my uh clairol purple shampoo and i used that to let it sit on the lace so that i can get out any brassy tones and this is what the hairs look like not plucked um i didn't have to pluck too much of this frontal more so just like the middle but it looks really good. Um, Y'all could probably finesse. This is like a really easy um, wig, I would say, for beginners if you don't really know how to pluck your hair. If you are a true member of the Lux Club, you know that back in the day, about like two years ago, I used to cut my lace. Like, yes, you know how I'm parting this part? I used to part it like this, like so like that, like Auntie Tap would say. And then I would just cut it off. Like, I was just going through it. I don't know why. But uh, a lot of people wonder why I do stuff like this. So I have a unique um, hairline where the sides of my hair protrude out more than the middle so it's not like super duper but it's like you know this little extra piece of hair does make a really big difference and it will sit like in the middle of my forehead and that's before i even do baby hair so it would look like really weird like my hair line would just look really low so i always have to section this part off and then pluck the hair out i used to cut it like i said but now i learned <laughs> so now i'm just gonna pluck it out and then um, continue on with my hair. So I do this before I even section out my baby hairs and all of that other stuff so that I could just get it out the way and then I will part it and then start my baby hairs. So yeah, guys, just enjoy me plucking this until there is nothing left until I pluck every little piece of hair from the root out of this freaking frontal. Mm -hmm. So now that we plucked out that front part, I am just showing you all the sides of the hair. It doesn't really need to be plucked for real. Um, it looks really good. So now I'm just going to go in and section out the baby hairs um, all together. If you guys don't have a hairline like me, all you have to do is you could just skip that first part and then just go straight into this part. I'm just showing you guys that I plucked all that hair out. So now you're just going to section out your baby hairs with a rat tail comb or a regular comb. And then we're going to start plucking, baby.
if you have not watched my um video on like what i learned from eric and tay's master class i'm gonna link that down below because it gives you more detail but i did um mix what i learned from eric and tay's class into what you know i've experienced with plucking my front tools because um that's just what it's all about with doing hair picking up little pieces of what uh you've learned and what you're accustomed to doing and you just remix it flip that thing and reverse it so this is what i do i just kind of group the hair and gather it together and you see how i'm pulling it back and when i see parts that's a little bit too thick i just randomly pluck also you don't want to pluck from the front you want to pluck from like the back of the hair if that's making sense so you see how i'm not going directly at the front in the beginning you just want to um you know slowly pluck it out because if you pluck all the hair out in the front it's gonna give ball spot and that's not cute so you just want to um gather the hair together you know pluck where you see the parts are too thi uh, thick and then you're just gonna take your comb and just part it again and just keep going back but again i have a more detailed video of me plucking um so i'm gonna link that down below because i don't want this video to be um going on for eons and eons <laughs> like after the plug ain't she so pretty <laughs> oh my gosh this looks so good i'm so excited to put this thing on my head y'all i'm so excited no nah, let me stop i'm so stupid um but yeah this is what it looks like um so i did cut the baby hairs down um this i'm not gonna leave them this long so yeah just gonna cut them down just so that you can kind of get the idea of like yeah this is where she lay yeah this is what she giving um so i'm just gonna show you guys what it's looking like overall it looks so good again i didn't have to pluck that much um don't be scared when you pluck and you see hair come out like girl it's gonna come out that's the whole purpose you want it to come out like some of y'all be so scared to pluck y'all front tooth sometimes like now listen i ain't one of them girls that be plucking their hair down to the ground like how it looks natural but it'd be like dad you know you're only gonna get like one or two wears out of this front tooth i'm not that type of girl i'm gonna leave it a little bit thick so that i could you know I could wear my front to a couple times because when you wash it and um you know detangling it the hair just naturally gonna fall out um your frontal is going to get thinner and thinner so you don't want to start off with like a super thin frontal and then it gets thinner like then it's gonna get boss by you can't really rock your wig like that but yeah guys this is what it's given like doesn't it look so good like oh my gosh i love this hair so much and again like i said you do not have to pluck it too much um this probably took me like 20 minutes to pluck as opposed to like a regular thick front tool. It probably would have took me like 30 or 35 minutes to pluck. But yeah, super cute. So now I'm going to go with my hot comb, right? And I'm just going to hot comb all this hair back so that I can apply it on my head. Um, I We not to the wax stick stage yet. Like I know girls be like, oh, blah, blah, put the wax stick. So now I just got put onto the wax stick. Now I see people using it, but I was just like, nah, I don't know. Like, I, I just, I don't know. I thought it was going to be too greasy. I didn't want it to be lifting up my front tooth. But today, we trying the wax kick stick, y'all. But um, right now, we just, no product in here. We just uh, vibes. <laughs> we just going to hot comb this thing back so that we can cut the lace and um, I can apply it to my freaking head. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so i already did my ball cap um again if you want to see that I look at the video down below um i did it horribly actually um you're supposed to cut them little frilly parts off but i'm tired look at me i don't even know what i'm doing like i think i'm p diddy whole time but i was tired i just got off work like i was just trying to get this done so um yeah cut those little frilly parts off and then um come talk to me I wanted to be like the Instagram girlies and like, you know, apply the glue and then cut it off. But I'm just like, nah, this is really not for me. And I'm showing you guys also, like, if I would have left that extra little layer of hair, do y'all see how it would have been on my forehead? Like, it would have been given George Washington wig. Um, Yeah, so I'm just going to cut my hair into sections. And then I'm going to go in and section off the little area where I need to cut around my ear tabs. Because this wig is currently laying on top of my ears and I can't hear nothing. I can't hear. Um, so yeah, 
I'm just cutting this in sections and then I'm going to go in with the ear tabs and I just twist it like um, I haven't gotten to the point where I can just cut the ear tab like the Instagram girls do and like the other YouTube girls do. I don't know how y'all be doing that. Like I'd be so scared that I'm going to cut my ear. But um, yeah, I'm just going to twist it and then I'm going to cut where I twisted it so that I can know that's the section that I'm supposed to be cutting off for my ear tabs. Snatch your wig off like that, you muddy legs. You just snatched it off on camera like that. I showed it. And don't give a fuck. And don't. And I'm putting this shit right back on. Oh. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Like, I'm just really going through it. I just, listen, y'all really seeing the true me now. I'm getting a little comfortable. So now I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place foundation. I'm just going to apply that all into the lace. Um, So before I put my foundation on, I put it on my hand first. Then I warm it up with the brush and then I apply it to the lace. I don't put too much either because you don't want it to be like um counteracting with the glue. And you want to have all that kicked up, kicked up like makeup and stuff in your um skin i guess you want to say you don't want all of that on your face and stuff because then uh that's how you cause breakouts around the hairline so don't use a lot of foundation but you know use a good amount so that it looks um blendable if that makes any sense so boom the holy grail y'all i this is my favorite lace school this erica j watermelon hold me down first of all it smells so good and i'm using skin guard spray that on my hairline then just let that dry we're gonna fold that thing back pull my muffin cap back blue then we're gonna go in with the erica j glue oh that was rob i'm Nicki minaj Nicki lewinsky no i'm just joking i'm a rapper put my muffin cap back blue then we gonna apply that glue period um yeah guys so <laughs> sorry y'all i'm just i don't know um, we're just going to apply this lace glue now. So when you apply, you want to make sure that you're getting it on the cap and on your skin. Um, so then I'm going to just, you see, I'm doing a little zigzag dots. I'm going to just take some, um, some what? I'm going to take a popsicle stick and then I'm just going to smear that thing in. And yeah, so I did four layers of this glue. And when I tell y'all my wig was on for a whole week, if you have not watched my vlog in Puerto Rico, make sure that you go watch it like Y'all, when I say that this glue is the truth, like, we went in the rainforest. I was getting wet. I was getting a freaking, the, yo, this joint really stayed on my head. I was hiking for almost five hours, bro, and my wig did not fall off. Like, it's just, I love this glue. Like, I really love this glue. And I've used, like, Boho, Deisha glue, like, all of that stuff. Boho was good, but, um, like, after a while, like, I started to sweat and that joint would come off, like, but this glue, it just really works for me. Um, what I realized is that if you're going to be like active and sweating or if you're doing like water activities, just make sure that you have your elastic band on your head. And once you feel like your lace is dry or like it's not that wet feeling anymore, then take it off. Um, and it just stays down. Like I love it. I was wearing it in the shower. Of course, I had my elastic band on. I wasn't just out here like rain on. I wasn't wild like that, but yeah, I put four layers on and I learned from Arrogant Tay, don't let the glue dry. You just, once you smear out one layer, you apply another layer of glue and smear it out. Also, you don't have to use a whole bunch of glue. I learned this myself. Do not use a whole bunch of glue and think that's going to help you, um, help your wig stay longer. Like just vibes, y'all vibes. Don't use so much glue. Um, use a good amount and it'll still work. And all that work just to realize that my camera had turned off trifling yeah so i'm just showing you guys a side view now <laughs> so that you guys can actually see me like laying it down but i did the same thing on this side i did four layers did the first layer and then you smear that thing out with the popsicle stick and then you're gonna go in again with the other layers you just keep going and going and going and smearing and going and smearing and going now with this i also did not let it um they always say like let the the hair dry the hair dry let the wig glue dry completely until it's clear i don't let this dry completely clear i let it dry mostly clear um because what i learned is when you, you let it dry completely clear it's like it sometimes doesn't stick like how you need it to like i don't know it's weird so i let this dry mostly clear which you will see so don't be 
nervous about still being able to see like the white through the lace this is why i love this glue um this is what the hair looks like uh the lace looks like mostly dry so we're just gonna put that down like i said you can still see the white from the glue but do not worry about that y'all we're just gonna attack this down avoid touching the lace with your fingers because you know you got oils on your fingers so use that rat tail comb and you're just gonna press that into the skin um as you guys can see i do need to go back in and cut off a little pieces of like the lace that don't stick down or i just feel like that are excessive and i also need to cut off the piece that is by my ear um so that i can hear but yeah we're just gonna place that down with the uh, comb and just let it dry and kind of soak into the skin before we add our elastic band and we're gonna start on the other side hello from the other side and no, that's so dumb so this is what the other side looks like and as you guys can see on this side how the glue cleared up so just wait y'all be patient like it'll clear up so once the glue clears up then we're gonna apply our elastic band um so now i'm just going in with my scissors i zoomed y'all all the way in so y'all can see i am just cutting um the little access lace that either didn't stick or i just feel like you know just look like aztec lace i'm lifting it with my scissor and cutting it be careful when you're doing stuff like this y'all i just be doing anything because just vibes but um yeah i guess you'd be a little bit more careful than i am with doing this uh <laughs> so now i'm gonna apply my elastic blend but wait let me think i found my got to be spray i've been looking for my got to be spray for my long, so i was mad excited um so i just ended up spraying my hair and um i'm gonna section out the baby hairs i did not spray this on my lace i sprayed it more so like on my actual hair as you guys can see um i get really nervous about spraying stuff directly on my lace because i don't want my lace to lift after all that hard work so now i'm just gonna section my baby hairs out and i use that got to be to kind of like push my hair back and give me that fresh um hot comb looking look and then I'm just going to go in and apply my elastic band and cut down my baby hairs. i'm going to master the middle part like i don't know why but my middle parts really just be trash sometimes like i be finessing but oh my gosh i don't know why it's so hard for me to like make straight parts in my hair like it's just i don't know but i'm just gonna go in i'm gonna cut my baby hairs down then i'm gonna go in with my wax stick and i'm going to use that wax stick to kind of get the frontal to lay down like, again like i said uh this was late at night i didn't really have my mirror and stuff i was just doing this with my um looking in my camera and kind of you know yeah so it's a little bit harder for me to actually do my hair how i normally do because i didn't have my mirror to see but um yeah i ended up going in later after this video and plucking my middle part so y'all do not come for me i know that my middle part looked very narrow but i went in later and i plucked this so i'm gonna insert some pictures right here so y'all can see it so y'all don't be trying me but yeah i went in with my um wax stick that i got from beauty spa store it was about eight dollars and i'm just gonna put that down um on each side of my head and then i'm going to hot comb it down now again this is lazy so if you guys want that really really flat nice look then i would say go through your frontal and like part it in sections and then apply the wax stick and then flat iron it and keep doing it like that because then you get a really flat and nice application <music> we come to you today praying that imani does not burn her freaking forehead with doing this um baby is because oh my gosh like okay so the first side is done so i'm just showing you guys how i do the other side i feel like it works better for me when i flip the baby here upward um i try doing it like bumping it and then doing it but it just i don't know for me personally it works better flipping it upwards again you take what you learn and you use it 
um, to how it works for you. So yeah, I'm just taking this flat iron and I'm just bumping, flipping my edges up. And then I'm going to go in with this clear got to be um, glue or you can use a got to be spray. And I'm just using um, an edge brush. I actually bought an edge brush from the beauty supply store. So round of applause for me because it doesn't give two brushes no more. I'm trying to level up, y'all. <laughs> be a little bit more professional. But um, yeah. This edge brush was also really big, and at first it was a little hard for me because, like I said, I'm accustomed to the toothbrushes. But I actually really, really love how big it is because it gives me those, like, big baby hairs like Jada Waiter, how um, Tay be doing her hair. So I do like the bigger one as I, like, continue to do my edges with it and learn how to do it. Um, you know, I would go in between using the brush and then flipping it over to the other side and using that little comb part to kind of comb the hairs out and then flip it so yeah guys just keep watching while i do my little edges i will link down below a link to how i do my um edges um i have a video on how i did my baby hair so i'm gonna show y'all well, for the people in the back who did not hear me again i am not re-wetting my hair because i'm going to bed so i'm just smelling it because it smells mad good so um this hair is super thick like Again, I'm being lazy, so I only split it into um, two parts. But honestly, on a regular basis, I split this hair like three parts on one side, three parts on the other side because it's so freaking thick. So I'm using this lot of body mousse. I love using lot of body on my curly hair. Like it just makes the curls pop severely. So I'm just going to apply this all over my hair. You don't be stingy with the mousse, y'all. Like use as much mousse as you need. Like completely cover that hair with the mousse. And um, so you want to do these steps on hair that is wet. Like if you have, whether you just washed it or if you um, use a spray bottle, but Spray your hair down while it's wet and then apply this mousse. Um, this is my first time trying this. I got this on the Beauty Supply Store. It was $2.99. It's this curling, wavy, like detangling conditioning spray. So I used it. I like it. It smells really good as well. So I'm just going to spray it in my hand first and then apply it to my hair. showing you guys how with the product added look at how much longer it looks as opposed to no product and this is still when my hair is not even wet when i wet it and added some eco styling gel like it got even longer so the more product you have in your hair the more it'll weigh down and the more of the length you'll be able to see i will um insert a picture why do i have a freaking makeup brush in my pocket child this is ghetto guys this is the final look um, this is going to be the initial review. I do really, really like this hair. It is giving scalp. I think this is probably like the best lace that I have done so far using like the Arrogant Tay method. Um, definitely getting better and better. So I'm happy to see improvements. Um, keep an update on this hair. I will probably do an update in about like three weeks or probably two weeks. Um, I don't like initial review videos because the hair can be nice fresh out the pack and then like, you know, it can turn on you and curly hair is like that because my last curly hair did that i got very minimum shedding um right now of course i was getting shedding because i bleached my knots and i also plucked my front tool so this is what the hair is looking like i'm gonna show you what it looks like from the back so that you guys can see that there's no gaps or anything like this this hair is full from the back Okay. so i did order this hair on september 24th and i received it october 7th um the communication between me and the seller was really good however um i just thought it would get here faster because they told me it should be come in three or five days i told him i needed it by a certain time and pretty much they were on a holiday so he told me that there was a chinese holiday from the 26th of September until October 6th. So that whole block 
was cut off like they were not sending out any um wigs or anything and they were coming back on the 6th to start sending them out so i was like oh no 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 because i ordered on 24th because he told me to order early um so that i won't get stuck in that and that i would get my hair in time and i was like the tracking number wasn't updated and it was just saying that it was still like the shipping label was created so i was going crazy and i'm like what's going on with my hair and it wasn't answering me because it was on a little vacation or whatever but he answered me back and then he told me that i had a new shipping um they sent it via fedex and it came probably like two three days after he sent me that new tracking number um i don't know if it's normally like that but i like i said it was a holiday and the seller did communicate that with me that there was a um, chinese holiday from the 26th of September to October 6th. If you have any questions, make sure that you link them down below. Guys, I have a lot more videos that should be coming for you guys. I upload every Wednesday and every Sunday. So then make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure that you tell a friend to tell a friend to follow Imani Looks. And make sure that you always stay luxurious. It was so crazy. You watched this whole video and you did not subscribe. Like, it's right there. Leave me a like, a comment, anything. Watch them ads for me, y'all. Like, watch them ads. A girl trying to get... I need this money, so make sure that y'all watch the ads for me, y'all. And make sure that you subscribe. Don't wanna get